Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I'm your host Rocky2815 and today we have got the official Japanese Pokemon magazine known as Korokora leaking. This weekend, today is Saturday and literally I woke up this morning, looked at my YouTube feed, there were about two videos but more have come out through the day about the leaks, but what I'm showing you here is an old leak because if you see this in the right hand corner the shadowy figure um believed to be a new pokemon and mega evolution act 4 with zygarde in it people were thinking mega zygarde new form well ladies and gentlemen if we go on to the next picture like so here it is! This is not a Mega Evolution as I got, this is a new form. It, I believe it's called its perfect form. But look at it, it's a monster, it's a titan. It's some Power Rangers robot Yu-Gi-Oh finny mabob. But look at it, it's just so massive and in the bottom left corner here we'll be looking at a closer view image of that but it is the going to be the new anime po there's still continue Pokemon XY but if you can see here in the top left corner X Y and Z so basically what they're doing as far as from what I can tell because I can't read Japanese at all is and also the videos I've already watched previously today on this is they're combining Mega Evolution Act 4 with the anime is basically what is happening now the little green blob Pokemon has been confirmed to be a part of Zygarde but what is it precisely it is a cell it is a cell of Zygarde so we start off with a green blob as you can see on the left page the green blob is with the red rectangular thing in its stomach. You won't be able to see my mouse cursor in video, so I'm trying to direct you to the proper images properly. And then it goes into this funny little sort of dog canine thing. Now this is the known going to be known as the 10% form of Zygarde. So that is 10% of its true power. Then we go to the Zygarde we all know and love from Pokemon X and Y. That is its 50% form. As you can see, there's the number 50% there in English. Actually, I'm not even sure how you would write numbers in Japanese. But anyway, so yeah, as you can see, 10% there, 50% there. Oh yes, and also forgot to mention the green blob is... Zygarde's 1% form. Anyway, and then we go on to the ginormous Zygarde 100% form, which I believe is called the pure Zygarde, uh, Zygarde form. But, as you can see, it's absolutely crazy. It is massive. It is a Goliath. It is a Titan, like I have already said. And as you can see on its left it's got some blue and on its right it's got some red obviously trying to represent Xerneas the Pokemon of life and Yveltal the Pokemon of death because obviously Zygarde is the one that balances them out so you know it's basically like the whole weather trio thing where like Groudon and Kyogre have a disagreement and go uh, we're arguing now, we're primal reversion, and then, you know, in Auras, um, well, basically in the legend, Rayquaza comes down and he goes, I don't think so, I'm mega evolving, now you two, cut it out. Basically, that is what Zygarde is like for Eveltor and Xerneas. Honestly, I don't know what much to say about this apart from it is epic 
and I have actually drawn a picture of its 1%, 10% and 100% form and I will be posting them on my brand new Instagram. That's right everybody, I have got an Instagram so at the end of the video I shall make sure to direct you to it but also there will be a special end title card with a link to it. But anyway, let's go on to what I think is the last image. If I go back into the folder, oh, it's actually the second image and we skipped one somehow, never mind. Anyway, here's the poster for Mega Evolution Act 4, which is going to be combining here. So obviously, the Japanese text but um, below Pikachu probably says in Japanese, Pokemon or I believe it's over there it's called pocket monsters uh, and then it says XY the law and symbol instead of putting A N D and then Z or Z whichever you prefer to pronounce it now in the background we have got Grin Ashes Greninja but it's got this weird sort of like red and white thing with um, black and a red lightning bolt as you can see and what I believe from the first video I watched this morning when I first woke up of what this Greninja is, it's not Mega Greninja because obviously the face has just changed it's not some crazy like new form or anything like that because if it was a form it would have to change more pardon me um, so yeah basically what I can understand it's just Ashes Greninja with some sort of mask or this might sound crazy but I'm pretty sure this is what the person said in the video this morning Ash and Greninja merge to make one thing so basically a Pokemon humanoid thing so maybe a human's mind inside a Pokemon's body or something like that. But anyway, as you can see, we've got uh, Lysander, I believe that's how you pronounce it, the boss of the so-called fashionable, not, <laughs> who said that, never mind, Team Flare, and you know, there's all the other characters, there's Zygarde's 1% form being held by uh, Clement's little sister Bonnie, and then the 10% form a bit more up and there's like a shining stone on its sort of weird collar which I'm not sure what that is but anyway and then its final pure form and in this if we go back to the last picture here see these like this line going through the middle of its body it's almost like a mouth and it's opened up and it shows these different jewels so like there's a white one in the middle there's an orange and red one there's a blue one and darker blue one but what is very interesting to me is Mega Sceptile in the background actually not just Mega Sceptile I'm hoping that Ash's Sceptile from the Hoenn series and they're gonna bring it back and he's gonna have it on his journey for a bit or one time off and you know Mega Evolution happens but behind it can you see that pink crystal what does it remind you of it's the pink crystal that Professor Sycamore upgrades your Mega Ring in front of it's the pink mystical big ginormous crystal in Kalos basically and I'm wondering if that has something to do with Zygarde, uh, uh, the, Zygarde's true power now the pink crystal is the only thing I saw nobody else pick up on today so such as famous Pokemon YouTubers such as Shofu um, Proto Mario Max Easy, um, Tyranitar Tube, they did not say anything about the Pink Crystal, for definite, and maybe they thought after they 
filmed and edited and uploaded a video about the pink crystal, but didn't have time to put it in, but whatever. Basically, I am the first YouTuber mentioning the pink crystal in the background. Here, quite massively, just in front of Zygarde, but behind Ash, his friends, and the rest of the Pokemon. But also, we can actually see a date for Pokemon X, Y, and Z, which I'm also going to call the merging of Mega Evolution Act 4 with the anime. It says down here, in red layering with sort of white around it, 2015, and then little Japanese symbol, then the 10th Japanese symbol, 29th, more Japanese symbols, or sorry, letters, they're letters. I don't know why I call them symbols. Maybe it's because of the whole symbol power theme from Power Rangers Samurai <laughs> or something on my mind again. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, the 25th of the 10th, 2000, uh, 2015, 10th of two, 29th. So to me, there is no 29th month. Well, actually, there's never been such a thing as 29th month. Unless you're crazy fine to the future and watching this video, then hello to you people. Um, basically, if we change the numbers around to what I write here in the UK, to me, it reads the 29th of the 10th, 2015, which equals the 29th of October, which is the 10th month of the year, 2015 being this year. So, I've been ranting on for about 3, 2, 1, 12 minutes now. I don't know why I did a random countdown to the next minute there, but I've been ranting on for 12 whole minutes and I really want to try and get this video to everybody tonight because I prefer to get out on the day the news came out you know but whatever thank you everybody so much for watching this special video and i am guessing that the new zygarde form will have something to do with the next pokemon game next year whether it be called x y and z like the anime or whether it be just called pokemon z or z like i said personal preference of pronunciation or pronunciation or whatever um or it could be x2 y2 yz xz or even i'm not sure if anybody thought of this zx and zy because i'm pretty sure in an article it said there will be no pokemon z z uh there will be no pokemon x2 y2 so I am putting down my personal prediction of the next Pokemon games or game in the series. If it's a single game, I will be guessing Pokemon X, Y, and Z, just like the anime. But if it's two separate games, like the whole Black and White 2 thing, then I am guessing ZX and ZY. Those are my personal predictions for next year and also probably new Mega Evolutions and forms. I'm hoping Volcanion or Volcanion, whichever one you pronounce it, the first ever Fire Water type Pokemon gets some sort of new form or Mega Evolution because Hooper got his Unbound form, Diancie got her Mega Evolution, so there we go. And also, like I said, I have an Instagram account down in in the description. Or it might come up as one of those annotations on screen when the title card, uh, um, end card rolls in after I wrap up this video. And also, as you can see in the post, now there are loads of characters, but next year, for March 2016 Cardiff Comic Con, I officially announcing my next cosplay is going to be another Pokemon character, but I'm going to leave people to guess in the comment section down below of what it will be. 
also I was thinking about doing a Legend of Zelda character because it's Zelda 30th anniversary next year but I'm going to do that as my second cosplay for the October slash November 2016 Cardiff Comic Con because then I'll have a longer time because the character I'm going to do for Zelda next year second cosplay be, will be the fierce deity from Majora's Mask but anyway this is about Pokemon so in this Mega Evolution act slash new anime season X, Y, and Z title, we have got all these characters, including these Pokemon slash new forms of Zygarde. Can you guess or which person slash Pokemon, because I'm not giving away much, I'm going to cosplay as. But I'm going to give you a clue right now. It won't be a girl. So that means not Bonnie, not Serena, and anyway, I don't think I could personally pull it off. So that has you left of choice of Clement, Evie, Pancham, uh, I've gone what the Evolution of Fennekin is, Chespin, Lucha, Diggersby, Luxray. Noiva, Mega Sceptile, that weird new Greninja, Pikachu, Ash, one of the Zygarde forms, Mega Charizard X, and the guy who owns Mega Charizard X, which I always forget the name of, and Lysander, the head of Team Flare. If you can guess which one of those Pokemon slash people I am cosplaying as, this is the perfect time. You will win a specially designed Minecraft Pokemon skin from me, plus a code for Minecon Cape because I got one spare. But you have to make sure you have a Minecraft account, um, PC or Mac edition, either or works. I'm not sure how it would work with Pocket Edition, so. You know, but it's open to people from all around the world. And I will also be opening up a business email address soon for people to contact me at about business propositions such as collaborations. Because moving the channel forward into the future, I would like to do collaborations with other YouTubers. You know, bigger things. So, Thank you everybody for watching, remember to leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, comment, and also comment about what my next, you think my next cosplay will be, and like I said you will win a specially designed Minecraft skin by me which I will work tirelessly on, plus a Minecon 2015 cape code if you have not already got one so also remember stay golden stay frosty and bye -sies.